Hey guys, Justice Egan here. Excited to be cutting this quick video and give you three blogging tips that can really help you in your blogging efforts. You know, yesterday I did a video on whether or not you need a blog to build your business online. And the answer I gave was, do you need one? Probably not. But if you want to build a huge personal brand, okay, and you really want to take things to the next level online, I highly recommend it. So here's my three tips, right? Tip number one is for that blog to be self-hosted. I mentioned that a little bit yesterday. You can buy a domain and host uh, your domain through either GoDaddy or HostGator or a bunch of other options out there. The reason you want this is because it belongs to you. No one can take it away from you. That's your internet real estate, so to speak. Now, if you don't know how to build a blog, it's okay. Go to Fiverr or Odesk, Fiverr.com or Odesk.com, and you can hire someone very inexpensively to get you up and running. It does not need to be perfect when you're getting started, okay? The second tip I have for you is to understand the audience that you're trying to attract. Too often I see people, you know, try and blog about everything under the sun. One day they're blogging about business, the next day they're blogging about the movie they saw, the next day they're blogging about what's going on in their community. Once you have a big audience, it's okay to get out there and, and, and you know, feather in or layer in some of your personal life and some of the things that you enjoy. But at the end of the day, we're blogging to build business and we want to niche down. Make sure that your content is directed at serving the audience that you want to attract. The third tip I have for you is to be consistent. Rome wasn't built in a day and blogging is a long-term strategy. Okay, if you're going to go out there and blog three times, five times, ten times, and then wonder why isn't it working, why aren't I getting leads, why aren't I making sales, you know, you just haven't given it long enough. What I'll tell you is this, the best way to track whether you're making progress or not initially is through your traffic. Go into your hosting back office and, and, and look at your traffic. You can see if your traffic is increasing. And if it is, you're on the right track, so keep your foot on the gas. Once you've got traffic going and going and going, then you can start focus on fine tuning some things, whether or not what you have on your blog is converting, whether or not people are engaging, all great things like that. But focus on the basics to start. Stay consistent and make sure you're increasing your traffic. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to comment below, like it, share it on social media with anybody that you think it could help. And if you'd like to get more tips on how to grow your business, I've done it primarily through video marketing, plus putting those videos on my blogs. I've got a great video marketing training. You can go to www.mastermarketersuniversity.com and grab my five-day free video marketing training. Hope you got value out of this video. I'll be talking to you very soon.